What's up, Shizbeats? Back on another little tutorial video. Um, pretty much, i uh, show you guys how to play chords with one key when you're MIDI keyboard. So, um, pretty much, you can incorporate this into your production if you know how to play. You know, and, and the guys that don't know how to play, you know, um, like myself, I know how to play, but I don't know how to play like uh, a fluent player, you know, so pretty much doing melodies with your chords and all that stuff i'm not that type of piano player but it's this app that i found and it's called uh tone space so pretty much you can set up the app where you can play chords how you like so i'll let you guys hear the first chord i came up with and then we can get into setting up the app so pretty much i played all this with one note one finger And you know, I added in the, the, my type of style of drums and then added some extra melodies in. Now, these little notes I played, um, I took, I kept it on the keyboard, but I kept it on unison and I pretty much played in that scale of, of the keys. Next one, which is the melodies. And that's just the instrument track, so pretty much I came with this. Pretty much this is the app tone space. So um, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. First thing you want to do is go to your audio MIDI setup. Go to window, go to show MIDI window, make sure your IAC driver is double click, make sure the device is online, and create a port called tone space so you can know exactly um, what you're working with. So once you get done that, you can close that out. You can quit that. You go over to the app. Then you want to go to settings, MIDI. So your active MIDI input, you want to make sure that shit, MIDI keyboard that you got in your uh, studio set up. So you want to make sure that's checked. Now for the output, you want to make sure the IAC driver tone space that you name is checked. Nothing else. Close that. And then you come over here to the MIDI. So you want to make sure your MIDI in is your keyboard. You want to make sure your MIDI out is your driver, tone space. Once you make sure those two are set, you can pretty much go ahead and start creating with this. Now, this is a very, um, it's a very great and fun app application. And it's also um, intense, so you have to really learn how to play it get used to it because sometimes you just pull it out and you might not understand you might just give up on it but you pretty much could do uh, up to all these type of chords or you know keyboard let's go to chords real fast and then it gives you all these chords the highest it go up to is minor with a knife added 
it don't give you 11s and it don't give you 13s, but pretty much you should be able to come up with some type of melody, chord progression and stuff with this. And then your voice in, you have all these pretty much start from your root, you know what I'm saying? Then your first inversion, you could do a root position, then you can do a root position on your open two, like it's pretty much hot. And then the way you trigger this, make sure that you have this select to MIDI trigger note. Because if it's on mouse, when you hit your keyboard, sometimes it won't, it won't work. But for me, it's working. But if you go to MIDI, it'll let you play your chords. So, you know, you got to make sure that this is selected MIDI triggers note. And then here, you got to get familiar with this. You know, you can play the chord anywhere. Play the chord if it's in root. Play the chord if it's fully in key. Fit most compact shape. And then you got fit chord to best scale. Fit chord to scale cycle. Fit chord to random end. Uh, you definitely got to read the manual for that. I pretty much use the second one and uh, fit most compact shape. So if you do that, I might lose you guys real fast. But if you go up to here, space, it creates um, this space right here. And you pretty much can play like it picks the best chords for you. Pretty much all I'm doing is pressing, you know, C, D, F, E. That's it. You know, and you can pretty much that's a beat right there. But you know, but you know, using this app, I came up with this beat. Now, um, pretty much, you know, I could I could play keyboard and a lot of guys might not believe that I could play the keyboard but um pretty much I could play that's logic stuff you know this is all because I, I sample I do originals a lot of videos I post up as originals because I'm a sample here I love to sample you know so um I sample I do originals but um with this guys that have struggled and the keyboard they could use this app and it's another app um, that you can get for your phone and it's called this this is not free but court well actually you could probably buy this in the store and what this is let's see if it all right what this is is pretty much you turn this dial and it gives you all your keys all your chords that fit in that scale, that key. So pretty much it lets you know like, all right, if you're in the key of C, you can't be playing no sharps or flats over here. So pretty much, you know, you can if you transpose, but that's that's pretty much a big transpose. So it lets you know that these are the correct chords to be voicing together. And it tells you if it's a major uh, six, major seven, major ninth, minor all that so pretty much you can get this for your android and your iphone and you can or if you want to buy the book you can buy the book from sam 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 ash or guitar center and you can you know put it in with this and then just use your imagination just go ahead and create and you pretty much you know can come up with some good uh keyboard compression i mean uh chord progressions and stuff which for your melodies and everything
because I know sometimes it's hard for guys to learn it. But um, pretty much, you know, that was it. Just to show you guys how to play chords with one key on your keyboard. So, you know, pretty much, you know, uh, please rate, subscribe, check out all the other videos I post up, you know, um, the beat that I did that I, uh, I had in mind for Jay-Z's doing real good. Check out all the other ones, you know, pretty much. I'm going to be posting up some more sample records that I did for everybody that love to sample in the MPC studio. So, um, pretty much, with that app, you can do this. You know, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, make sure you, you know, check me out. I'll be back in a little bit to show some more videos. Thanks for watching. Shiz Beats.